Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about the three hundred thousand dollar theft that was reported from Gen Con, and what really happened, and what was the crime that occurred. Okay. All right, so very, very interesting story popped up this week. It was really fascinating. Um, actually, it popped up a little while ago, about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Gen Con was happening, and there were tons, like literally probably a thousand different vendors bringing in product. And one of those vendors was a Magic the Gathering uh, vendor who had br- brought in cardboard boxes containing um, Magic the Gathering, right? Now... And, and actually, and they, they had an entire, like, go-kart, like, not a go-kart, I'm sorry. They had an entire, uh, like, trolley cart of cardboard boxes, and in those boxes were um, booster boxes, booster boxes of Magic the Gathering cards, right? And so, one of the things we see here, and I'm, I'm here to correct the understanding, to correct the record of what actually happened at Gen Con, because it was massively reported incorrectly, in my humble opinion. So what was the story? The story was $300,000 of magic cards were stolen, right? And that's enough to get clicks, and that's enough to get people engaged, right? But I'm telling you that does not matter. $300,000 of magic gathering cards being stolen is nothing. It's just a commercial crime, right? Commercial crimes happen every day. Who cares, right? Like, now, actually, uh, uh, let me be clear. The um, the vendor would have cared, right? And and actually, the story would have gone nowhere. Actually, I'll tell you right now, commercial crimes happen in all our neighborhoods every day and are never reported, right? Like, uh, every time, you know, um, some lipstick is, uh, you know, uh, shoplifted from CVS, it doesn't, doesn't make the news, right? Like, because it's just a commercial crime and the only person who cares is CVS, right? Like, you know, so, like, but this... You know, people were were connecting here, and I think they really don't understand what happened. So let me explain what happened, right? A commercial crime is meaningless in the scope of America right now. Unfortunately, we're at a point where many, many commercial crimes happen all the time, and and laws do not apply to all people, right? That's just no law. I mean, come on. Let's not pretend, right? Like, there's entire cities where you can go and you can shoplift all you want. Nobody's and you, Nobody will even say boo. You can't call the police. Nobody even to shout, right? Like, so commercial crime is nothing now. It does. It is meaningless, right? But where do we reach a point where crime matters, right? That is a cultural crime, right? And that's, in my opinion, what happened at Gen Con and why this mattered. It was a cultural crime. Why was it a cultural crime? Because it involved identity, right? So you know, the un the uninformed and the unaware reported that Magic the Gathering cards were stolen. Who cares, right? Ga- game parts stolen. Nothing nothing matters there, right? But what happens when someone's identity is stolen? What happens when canon is stolen? What happens when lore is stolen? What happens when narrative is stolen? What happens when the human heart, the human mind, and the human spirit is stolen? And that's what was important, in my humble opinion, right? These were not Magic the Gathering cards. This was this was boxes and boxes and boxes of Commander Masters, right? What is Commander Masters? It's a set that contains a thousand cards, okay? Re- reprints. All, every single one reprints, right? And what are those? Well, I can tell you right now what those are, right? Those are reprints of Dungeons and Dragons canon, right? Magic the Gathering is simply a shell, is simply a vessel for Dungeons & Dragons canon. Nothing in Magic the Gathering matters except the Dungeons & Dragons part. And the reason why is Magic the Gathering is a fun little game. Who cares, right? The reason you and I care, right, is Dungeons & Dragons isn't just a little game. It is a vessel for identity, right? In 1974, Gary Gygax... Uh, declared to the world with Dungeons and Dragons that he it was freeing the world from singular identity, and he's like, you can have as many identities as a dungeon as dungeon as dungeon masters will give you, right? You can live a hundred lives, you can have seventeen genders, you can have seventeen preferences, you can have seventeen personalities, you can have a hundred different attributes, you can have feats, you can have courage. You can have anything you want in your identity. I give it to you through Dungeons & Dragons, right? 
And Dungeons and Dragons is the ultimate identity vessel. It frees us from singular life, and we can live as many lives as we wish, right? Um, and it's it's incredible, and it's transformative. It's not me saying it's transformative. Joe Manganiola said that that literally American celebrities are using Dungeons and Dragons to transform their own lives and the culture they live in. Hasbro is telling you this is a transformative experience. This isn't a product. This is a transformative experience that you use to transform your life. So the reality is they, they stole Luxodons and they stole humans and they stole dwarves and they stole elves and they stole 20 other right species that are contained within those cards. Events, Dungeons and Dragons canon events that are contained within those cards. Dungeons and Dragons species that are contained within those cards. Dungeons and Dragons monsters that are contained within those cards. They stole identity, right? They went too far, right? Commercial crime is nothing. It is often completely ignored by our police. There are many, many commercial crimes where you could call your police department right now and they'll say, you could go kick rocks. No police officer is going to be uh, is going to be dispatched because your car was stolen. Nobody cares, right? But the reality is we, right, as guardians of our own identity, we care deeply when a cultural crime occurs, right? And increasingly, I think, you know, we're, we, are the, we are realizing we are the protector. No one is coming. No one is coming to help, right? Commercial crime is meaningless in many, in many, many cities now, Right? But cultural crime is important, right? In my humble opinion, what really happened at Gen Con was that there was a cultural crime that went right at the identity of people who play Dungeons & Dragons. And people who play Dungeons & Dragons are like, you cannot steal my heart. You cannot steal my spirit. You cannot steal my mind. And when you come for these components, these Dungeons & Dragons components, that's that's why this made the news in my, my opinion, right? Not because no one cares that Magic the Gathering cards are sold and accept those vendors, right? But the world cares if identity is even scratched, right? And Duns and Dragons, people who understand identity at a level, no one in the world understands identity, cares deeply when components of identity are stolen. That's why the cultural crime that occurred at Gen Con matters, in my humble opinion. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing, and may God bless you and yours.